Hey guys, it's Rexkin Mia. Ooh. So it is um I am officially in my third trimester. I am 28 weeks and four days pregnant now. Whew. And today is my anniversary with my um our anniversary, my boyfriend and I, February 6th, so it's really cool. I'm still like you know really tired. It basically like I just wanna be in bed like all day. I did clean the restroom, but like I do like you know a couple of things here and there. I just wish I could do more. But um, yeah, I can't wait to dye my hair. But I kind of like how it looks. I showered this morning. Oh, and whenever I shower, like I feel good. And then like kind of right after, I'm like, oh, I feel dirty again. <laughs> I went to the do my a doctor's appointment. I believe two days ago. Yeah, I think we went two days ago, I forgot. And it was like, just like a checkup. Um, I weigh 149 pounds, basically almost 150, which is crazy. And like, I used to look so different. Like, um, I don't know, I don't know if you guys remember, um, I did, uh, like I gained a lot of weight this one time, like two years ago. I, I posted a video on, YouTube about it like losing the weight and I just my body looks so different like you know back then like being at that weight being at like 149 compared to obviously now because it's like the weight was distributed like all over now it's just you know basically all in my tummy <laughs> so it's crazy and I'll just like it's like insane um another thing I've noticed that my hair has been growing like a lot like it's growing faster and it feels like stronger and healthier which is crazy because that's never happened before um because I always I think I think I heard that people lose their hair when they're pregnant so I mean thank god it has happened but I've been like you know it feels stronger and I feel like my hair is growing like a lot you know um my nails for sure are growing like they're super shiny they're uh they grow f way, like way faster like my nails usually grow like super fast but now they're growing like incredibly fast <sighs> so it's like a lot to keep up with like you know like cutting it and all the shit and i'm just like Ugh. um another thing my feet they don't get swollen i know i think my mom told me like i've seen a lot of like um people's experiences that are pregnant that uh their feet get swollen or like they get tired or like they get big and i feel like my feet have shrunk <laughs> like Honestly, um, I wear like Air Forces vans and mostly my like uh, my slides, these champion slides I have, and uh, like I feel like my feet have gotten like tinier like whenever I put them on, like any any like shoes I have. So it's kind of funny because I got prescribed Benadryl and an eczema cream for like the uh, like my itching that's been going on. On um, the Benadryl does kind of help it well it helps me more like for sleeping honestly I think I've noticed like if I take it at night then I'll like you know knock out and I'll be good but I, I do take it and I'm, I'm starting to retake my iron and prenatals again well like the one that was prescribed because before I was using um these gummies because the uh smarty pants gummies because those were the only ones I honestly could settle with my tummy but now it's like everything's settling so you know and I did stop taking the iron pills for a little while. But um, when I went to my doctor's appointment, she said that my levels were low for like iron or like hemoglobin, something like that. So I was like, fuck. It wasn't like super low, but it was just like right out of the range of where it's supposed to be. So I'm starting to take those again. And um, yeah, it's, it's been pretty okay. I got more refills for my prenatals and the iron too. Uh, yeah. And and I'm starting to take um I'm starting to keep track of when like you know the baby moves like his movements like how often like within like an hour or like how how long it takes for me to feel ten movements and it should be within an hour supposedly you know so I'm like keeping track of that because they give me paper to keep track of it and um, so I haven't gotten the test results yet for the cholestasis but I do feel like I have it. So, I will most likely be have to be induced by like 36 weeks. So, my doctor just talked to me about like the hospital, things about the hospital, like that we have to get that like more like, you know, sooner, like that information and stuff. 
because it's better just in case because i am in my third trimester like even besides the cold of like you know anything could happen like um i could just go into labor like you know so so it it is like a little exciting um i'm like i think i'm okay like with like that timeline thing of like oh i thought he was gonna come this you know this time like you know like i think i'm like pretty like all right it's just literally just getting everything like you know moved a month basically but yeah and um we're still working on the baby shower i think my dreams another thing they've been like low-key like weird they're just like super vivid and like crazy and i'm just like eh, sometimes they're like good sometimes they're not and sometimes they're just weird as fuck <laughs> but yeah and then lately i have been craving um like ice cream more like fruits like so like sherbet sorbets right now i'm like i was craving hash browns so my boyfriend's making them right now <laughs> and um you know it's just like things that like i just want i'm like oh like i think it was a couple days ago i, I really wanted um cor corn dogs so my boyfriend bought like a big like pack of frozen corn dogs and i've just i think i could eat like four in a sitting which is crazy like <laughs> but yeah insane can't really see him there we go it's crazy I feel like he's eating like big, like he's big. Like it's crazy, man. <laughs> oh, look, you can see them. <laughs> Ew. Well, My stomach is pretty yours. Metro Center at downtown LA. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Oh, fuck. Toby's litter box. <laughs> trabajando en dos cosas del bebé baby shower <laughs> papá oh ya yeah. oh ya yeah. oh ya yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so today is March 1st, isn't it crazy? 
<gasps> it's like the month I'm gonna give birth like to fucking <sighs> I'm gonna dye my hair today for the baby shower so I could be like you know ready it's crazy I didn't realize how long my hair is but I did forget like <clears throat> like at the beginning you know my green hair was all the way up to my roots because you know we just went to Disneyland and I made someone in Disneyland because I had to keep it green crazy and I've only dyed it like black I think it's insane <coughs> and I'm a little sick but it's weird like no one else around like you know who I'm living with has been gotten sick so I don't know it's just me I don't know but right now I'm currently working on the uh, rest of the floral arrangements that I have to do for the baby shower I just have four more we went to go buy some more flowers <sighs> and yeah it's crazy I am 32 weeks today officially I think Aww. 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 Ready? And go! Woo! Pressure! <laughs> 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 okay. Run and jump, run and jump, run and jump. 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 Hey guys, so I'm 32 weeks and three days pregnant according to the app thing. Um, it's crazy. I'm at uh, my, um, I think prenatal routine checkup appointment. It's crazy, it's the first time it's like sunny here. L lately when I've been coming, it's been like very uh, like cold and rainy and stuff. But yeah, so I just, I did my blood pressure. It's always been good so far for now, so that's really good. My weight, it's 154.2 now. Like I've been increasing like two months, not two months, two pounds each week, which is like insane. So yeah. So I'm probably just gonna check on the baby right now. Like the heartbeat like a little bit and yeah so tomorrow and friday i have my like weekly bi-weekly checkup for the baby like the uh the heartbeat and the ultrasound or catch you guys up for what's been happening but um so the baby shower was like lit. it was really fun like i'm really excited like it's just crazy because i never thought we would have a baby shower like ever you know like you know like not like you know for maybe but like you know like i'm pregnant like what the fuck so it was fun, it was really cool. And it was like the first time my family and my boyfriend's family got like together. So that was like, it was cool, it was fun. And uh, you know, really grateful for everything. Like, you know, my friends, like, you know, like, ah. it was fun. But um, basically from like before, I think, I don't think I've updated you guys since like I've been going to like the hospital. But, so I did get diagnosed with cholestasis um, in case that wasn't obvious. <laughs> But I was already mentally prepared, so it wasn't that big of like a shock, or I wasn't like, very like anxious, or I wasn't like ah, oh, you know, because then I like you know wanted to prepare myself just in case, you know. So everything's been going good with the baby. Um, I know my my bile acid levels were like really high, but um, ever since like I talked to my doctor, um, they did prescribe me the uricidol, uricidol, something like that. But it's been helping a lot. And um, basically now I just go every two weeks. I used to go to the California hospital, but then they switched me to this other one. I think the Women's Clinic of Inglewood, something like that. But I'm going two times every week, doing the heart heartbeat checkup on the baby, like 20 minutes. I'm like there with like a monitor. I like I showed it to you guys, you know, but I'm just explaining now. And then also like an ultrasound after, just like to check on the baby's growth, the amniotic fluid, and you know things like that but so far everything's been like going good i'm like kind of little like because i'm waiting waiting on the doctor and sometimes they just like come in and i'm like Ugh. but uh but yeah so that's been good I, I have been taking i'm basically right now on the uricidol two times per day prenatal once two times iron because my iron levels were a little low like like a little before maybe like a month ago but they've been like getting better 
and then I'm also on Benadryl once like every night. I don't know if they're coming, but yeah. But yeah, everything's been going like really good. Sometimes my boyfriend accompanies me. Sometimes lately it's been my sister, the um, Yaya. She's been accompanying me for my um, my checkups. So yeah, it's been. Um, and I am going to be induced on March 28th. Before they said March 25th, but then they changed it to March 28th. I think I'm going to be about 36 weeks. I'm gonna do it. So yeah, it's coming up soon. Now we're just trying to get the rest of the baby things because we had baby shower and we got like a lot of things so it's crazy i was just saving up and also just buying because i want to also fix up the room i want to get like new um dressers and like things like that just so we could be more organized and you know actually set with like a little setup for you know us and the baby but yeah Whew. now it's just like you know enjoying the last few weeks of my pregnancy and yeah, it's like getting ready, so it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Holy shit, I look huge. Holy shit, I look huge. Crazy. The Lord is literally crazy. And I have his name already, but it's a secret. I don't know if I've told you guys that, but uh, we're still coming up with a middle name. I told my boyfriend, like, you know, like, like you could pick the middle name, and he's gonna have both of our last names, so, yeah. snacks new meal time fruit pupusas chicken and my drinks i'm ready to eat this is breakfast this is breakfast So I'm here in my last appointment for like um, my with my OB, and I just peed makeup. See, this is the first time that I've ever like <laughs> kind of missed the cup. <laughs> I kind of waited around, but it's because I can't see. Like I'm like so big now that I can't fucking see. It, so. so they had me undress from the waist down, and I feel like it's because they might do a cervical check. Cause it's like this is basically like it's monday the 18th i'm um, supposedly 34 weeks and four days i think now oh he is not moving he's kicking me <clears throat> and it's a week before i'm gonna get induced so <sighs> it looks so nice though look babe 
I put the jeans inside. <laughs> so it look, could look nice. But fuck, there's so many freaking tags. Oh, and then one tag got stuck inside the clothes. Really? Yeah. So I had to cut it. I keep on forgetting the fucking Kylie Jenner, like, so I'm 34 weeks pregnant today. It's half a shit, but mm, I keep on forgetting. So, I've been basically spending, like, this past week, I mean, this past couple of days organizing the baby's room. And we're getting, like, really good progress, but I just still feel, like, honestly, kind of a little overwhelmed and slightly stressed. And very like I think it's just more overwhelmed than a feeling like with needing or like wanting to like because it's just like a lot we have you know like you know so grateful like it's crazy how like much like we've been given like a lot of things and like our my my boyfriend's um family members they just keep on gifting us stuff and it's like really cool and fun but like that's like so much like his uh his cousin from who lives like like pretty not like super far but like kind of far away like she came with her daughter and um and boyfriend and then they dropped off like a few gifts and it was like they got us like a stroller and it was like it's really cool it's like there in the corner but yeah as you can see it's like a mess like <laughs> the baby's room is looking really nice so i cannot wait to do like you know a reveal about it and right now i'm watching shameless meeting my three hot vlogs my pills already like my medicine and then my iron and i'm eating hot cheetos got water and coke and then um i like working with these for me because you know he basically makes all my food for me if not my mom or we just buy food but yeah or i just make myself cereal honestly or maybe eggs but not really <laughs> but yeah crazy it's just like i don't know i just feel like it's like a lot you know like seeing all the things and i just you know not having enough space for like a lot of stuff but then also it's like making space and you know it's just you okay juju <sighs> but yeah it's just and i'm i'm just so tired it's just more of like cutting off like the tags and like the little plastic things <sighs> it's just a lot but you know we're like we have like a lot so so we're like super like you know we're really like good with where we are but it's just hmm. i can't wait contemplate to contemplate so it's really early. I literally like just woke up. I'm using the restroom. I always have to like shit real early. But right now it's like five, I think. And I, and, oh, I woke up with my alarm. I think because I hit moving. I'm using the restroom. And then, oh, <laughs> and then my alarm. But, oh my god. I keep on like wanting to film. I love it. Like, tell you guys about, like, how I'm feeling or like how it's going or what's going on you know during the pregnancy I just get lazy <laughs> but basically I don't know if I mentioned it but I, I got like uh, a steroids for him I think when I was like 33 or 34 weeks I honestly forgot um but I've been doing the checkups and everything I had my last one on like last Friday for the like NST or like the stress test or for the baby or, like you know just like checking up on him if he's good and uh I've been jotting everything down in my like like journal for him like um you know like updating or like a diary type thing it's today <laughs> it's it's like basically the day I'm going to get induced it's the morning of like early um I'm going to call at seven because they told me to call to see if they have everything like okay and then I'm scheduled at nine o'clock in the morning and I gotta get there by eight. Um, so 
so yeah it's gotta get new stuff ready i did like we, we basically did everything though like we deep cleaned like you know the restroom our room um our fridge like we just did like a bunch of stuff and we packed all our bags and stuff i just gotta get like the baby's outfit for now and uh i have this name like we have his name like for sure for sure i picked out the first name and then um my boyfriend picked out the middle name and then uh the last name is gonna have our both of our last names combined <sighs> but yeah i've just been like it's just been like crazy like it's already like today but i'm excited you know like i am i guess nervous to a certain point but like I think I'm just more nervous about like after like a good birth, not really like during. I don't know. I, I'm excited, like, you know, to see how it is, like the process to feel everything. Uh, I don't want to get the epidural, but you know, if I have to. Uh oh. Oh my sister, you look busy. Hey, mama. Hi, my sister. Mm. I heard you vlogging, and I, I said me too. Me too. I mean, you know, I've got over like my fears and like, like I guess like you know doubts or things like that with my boyfriend. So we like, you know, let like our feelings out about that, you know, um, especially me. So I think I feel like good or like better, like prepared, you know. Um, oh fuck! Whenever I shit, he like moves and kicks, and I'm like. But yeah, I'm excited. Like we have a plan with like also the pets who like who's gonna stay home, who's gonna watch them while we're there and everything. And like it's just crazy. And then the only thing is, you know, I know how it's gonna go, but I don't know how long it's going to take or like you know like how long the process is gonna be. So I think that's the only thing that you know I really want to know how everything will go. Like it, it doesn't make me like slightly anxious, but also it's like at least I know that it you know it it can vary which is like okay like you know so we're like i'm mentally prepared for like a lot of shit and i obviously know it like could hurt or i obviously know there's a chance for like c-section or like you know it's like because i'm going to be induced it was my first pregnancy but um i think oh last time i went i think it was last monday like last week i went to go visit my ob and then she told me that I, i'm uh like three like She's a number three, but I'm, I'm like dilated that much or something like that. So she's like, oh, it's impossible that you could have like delivery like through the vagina. So it's like, you know, like vaginal delivery. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> so hopefully. And um, yeah, everything's like clean. We washed all the baby clothes. And I think that's just also another thing. Uh, I, I, I got stressed out about that. Like just folding all the clothes and washing everything. Cause we washed like all our blankets, all our clothes. And then all of the babies, like things like the blankets, all those freaking clothes, all like something. Like, it was just so much. I got really stressed and tired like that day. I think it was like, two days ago or three days ago. I don't know. I think it was two days ago. So they're like trying to get everything like pushed to the last minute to do. You know? Ooh. Not just because like, I didn't want to do it, because like, you know, I wanted to, to be like, you know, the more like cleaner, <laughs> you know, like closer to the day, but also to still have like, you know, so yesterday we did all of like the house cleaning and then two days ago we did all of like the washing and stuff so and then i want to paint so i'm gonna see if i could like bring my um at least something like to do and like at least draw like on a canvas too because i keep on having this like imagery of like what i want to paint but yeah oh i just want everything to go well man because like ooh. and this is crazy because it's like you know i'm going to be in do so it's like a it's like another experience so yeah um what else but okay yeah basically like this is it like this is like the last you know or like the first of like you know basically end of my like third trimester in a way because you know it's like he's going to be born but you know um yeah <laughs> It's insane, but I'm really excited. Like, I think that's just the number one feeling, excitement. But yeah. And then, uh, and then, oh, that's the thing too. Like, you know, I'm like, you know, like I'm prepared and everything. I'm excited, you know, mentally like conscious about stuff. But um, basically, like, 
and just like you know when we come home with them we, like you know for the pets like introducing him i think it's, i'm like you know i'm like, looking forward to that i'm excited but i'm also really nervous about that like i want everything to go well with that like with the pets like you know and like him settling down and everything like at home and uh yeah and then i'm excited like you know like for him to like you know like like to meet him and meet us you know and, like you know everything so I think I'm just really excited, like, you know, because a lot of people always ask me, like, oh, are you nervous? Are you scared? And it's like, I mean, I guess to a certain degree, but it's like, or to a certain extent, but not necessarily. I'm just excited, like, I just excited. you know, it's like getting, like, a new puppy or something. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> this will basically be it for the third trimester. Um, I'm going to include as much as I can of everything, but, yeah. Like, and then it's like, it's just crazy, like, ah. I'm really excited. And then we're keeping everything private for now, you know? Obviously, I'm going to, like, upload this, you know, in the future, but, like, um, literally only our family members know. And, uh, you know, about the abduction, about, like, you know, everything. I mean, I did talk about, like, the have close spaces, but, and there was possibility that I could be induced in my second trimester. But, uh, you know, Obviously, everything happened in the third month trimester, like, you know, like, it was official, all, like, the, uh, testing, everything, and then my medicine, oh, oh, that's another thing, like, I've just been feeling, like, really, like, way better about the itching and everything, like, it's basically, like, super, like, done, like, on, but, like, yeah, like, and, like, I think I mentioned before, like, my pile levels have decreased, like, a lot, which is really good, because it was, like, at a high-ass level, and, um, yeah, I think now, like lately, these past two weeks, it was just more like getting, um, like waking up, early, like waking up like around three, four. But because he's moving and because I need to like shit, like he makes me want to like shit. So it's like different, you know, like waking up. I still am really tired, but it's like it's different, you know, instead of like fucking staying up all night scratching and like it basically injuring myself. Ugh. Oh, 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 okay. Basically, also after my doctor like checked me. I like, um, you know, I, I don't know, I looked it up, but it was like, I think my mucus plug is like slowly like, I guess coming out. I think she caused that, but also, um, she did tell me like, you know, oh, make sure you have lots of sex or like bounce on your ball or shit like that. I don't have a fucking ball. Like, I think we had one before, like a long time ago, but I hate those balls. Anyway, <laughs> so then like, I think we, my boyfriend and I like did have sex, I believe. I don't know if it was that same day or the day after, but I did notice like my mucus plug was like, coming like out like every time I use the restroom or every time I piss or shit like I would wipe I'd be like what the fuck and I got scared but then I was like wait I like this is a thing like I didn't look this up for research just before like saw it on TikTok and I was like ah so I'm just hoping that everything like you know goes smoothly like you know I, I hope you know my hopes are that it doesn't go take too long or if it does like you know it's like I don't want it to like cause me to get a section or something you know but you know, if it does, then, you know, I'll, I'm prepared, like, okay, it's a possibility. But, you know, it's my hope to be, like, you know, four hours, I'm, like, good to go, where, like, everything's good with him, but, yeah, so. <sighs> now I just gotta at least get ready and stuff. I'm not gonna shower. I showered last night, which is, like, you know, I asked my boyfriend, I think my sister, I was like, oh, should I shower, like, like morning of? Or, like, Sunday before? And then, like, I think they were both like, oh no, like, you know, shower before, because, you know, and I'm like, same. <laughs> so thank God I listen. And then I, another thing is, I didn't get to fucking dye my hair. But it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. 